Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Northern Lights. I found this awesome farmhouse last episode. Um, really, really sweet find. I'm just going to make this my base of operations, and we are going to continue moving forward. Let me go ahead and sleep a little bit. And, oh, you know what? I should probably check the fire. I'm not sure how long before the fire goes out, but you want to check the fire. I mean, you could probably let it burn out, honestly, but I don't know. I I'm going to keep it going, I guess. Uh, or maybe I'm going to let it burn out. Well, I didn't know what would happen when it did burn out, so I guess uh, now we'll find out, and that rhymes. So, <laughs> there you go. All right, let's get all of our... You see the little eyeball thing at the top? That's my... I don't think that's my sanity. I'm pretty sure that's, like, my my sleep. My, like, when I got to sleep and stuff, so... Um, I, I am losing thirst and hunger as I sleep, obviously. That makes a lot of sense. I wake up, the game gets saved, and we're good to go. I think I'm going to just eat what the stuff that this... Uh, this place... I wonder if I need, um... Uh, what do you call it? I wonder if I need any kind of, uh... Can opener or something to eat this food. Wouldn't surprise me, but... I, I want to know what happens with the fire, too, when it's out, though. So... Oh, it turns into charcoal. Okay, cool. Alright, that's actually really useful. Alright, I think the first thing... I'm gonna, well, let's take a look at these things. Um, okay, so those are... The rabbit pelts are doing their thing. I'm gonna go ahead and make a proper storage chest here. Um, oh, a book. So can you read books or are you just supposed to tear them up? Oh, you know what? I'm getting cold, aren't I? I might have to start that fire anyway. No, no, I'm not actually. Okay, let's go ahead and make ourselves a storage chest. Now that we've got the... I think we have the cloth for it. Okay, craft and... Uh, rotate. Uh, there we go. I can't tell which is the front though. Uh, I don't think it really matters, honestly. Uh, can I not put it right against the wall? Okay. Put it as close to the wall as I can. Alright. There we go. Okay. There's all the sticks. I don't know. Do, do I have cloth on me? Let me see which cloth. Yes, I got the cloth, so... Oops, don't do that. Uh, Take some sticks. How many... Uh... Yeah, there we go. Can I shift-click or anything? No. Do not appear to be able to shift click. And there we go. Oh, so it holds... Uh, is that a 5 or a 6? I think it's a 6. So this holds a lot of items. Cool. That is really, really nice. Alright, so put that stuff in there. You know what? I think I just want to put a bunch of firewood in there. Just keep all the firewood in there. Firewood's like probably the most important thing. Uh, yeah, because firewood I could turn into... Yeah, firewood gets turned into sticks. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I got a lot of stuff here. Which is good. I mean, this box is really hold as much as I thought. <laughs> as much as I was hoping. But that's okay. We do need more cloth. I'm hoping the rabbit... Uh, the rabbit pelts would turn into cloth. That would be really nice. So, but we are kind of full right now. So I think I'm just going to have to kind of throw stuff on the ground. Which I really hate doing. But oh, I got something in here. Oh, I got charcoal. Okay. Yeah, charcoal can help with food poisoning. So, condensed milk, canned pork and rice, consume. All right. Oh, you know what? I probably should eat the freaking rabbit meat first. That's going to go bad before anything. Oopsie. Uh, we'll keep some of that. We'll keep one of those. Probably got to cook the rice, maybe. All right, drop that. I don't really know why I'm holding on to the mushrooms, to be honest. All right, drop all of this stuff. Although, I might want to make a bow and arrows that could be pretty cool yeah let me see what we need for the arrows we need feathers for the arrows so let's take a look at the bow damn it there we go uh the bow is easy uh actually a stone spear is easy too i don't know why the hell I ever made a regular spear um so arrows do take feathers so my, my i've got stuff thrown all over the ground now so i don't know where any of my feathers are they're not in there, that's for damn sure. I, I thought I picked up some feathers, or maybe I didn't. I know there's feathers in here. I just don't know where. Until I can... You know what? Until I can make more storage, I'm not going to bother. Let's just worry about storage and getting this place organized. Because right now, this place is an absolute shit show. Alright, so we're at 12. That sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what we can find. Uh, before we do anything, save the game. Again, I would really like a, um option to save the game without sleeping. Just like, you know, kind of like in Green Hell. 
All right, yeah, we need to get out there and get some more stuff. All right. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, nothing? Okay. Oh, let, let's find a key. I want to know what's in that barn. I was supposed to look for the key. Wait, I searched around this entire place. I never found the key. Maybe the key's not in this place. Or oh, Okay, so either the key is not in here. Okay. Or... Or I just missed it. Feathers, cool. Okay. I would like to find the key if it's in. I'm going to look for it really quickly. I won't take too much time because I do want to get out and about. I want to get out in a boot. Yeah, I'm not really seeing it. If you guys know where the key is, um, you know, I wouldn't mind being privy to that information. But like I said, I really searched this place yesterday and I didn't find it, but I've been known to miss stuff. Can I take out the door? <laughs> I thought I could maybe take out the door. All right, it's nothing in there. Uh, nope, not seeing anything. Okay. Uh, key. Where the key? Yeah, there's the feathers. Okay. Hoping feathers don't take up too much room. No, they don't. Good. Oh, gloves. Yes, I will take those gloves. Thank you. I wish you could also, like, bring, you know, um, stuff with you. You know, like, clothes. Like, is there a way to bring clothes? Like, because the clothes will go bad. Your clothes will eventually, you know, degrade or disintegrate or whatever the hell you want to call it um so it would be nice to be able to get more close all right so i'm out here looking for rabbits mainly and um also some more uh rope would be nice and let's take a look at our stats oh thirst okay uh yeah let's just drink this 40 hydration seems pretty good uh, it won't it won't last forever, but it's it's pretty decent. We're not gonna go too far out, so I'm not gonna pick mushrooms unless I need them, uh, because mushrooms go bad, you know. So uh, if you leave them on the if you leave them where they are, they never go bad, you know. If you pick them, then you're on a timer. So unless you make them in a stew, I wonder if um soup can go bad like the stews, because um it that was a good way to keep to keep stuff in green hell. Got my spear, my trusty spear. Should we try and kill a wolf with a spear? Eh, probably not with this spear. Maybe we'll try with another spear. Okay, sticks are always good. In order to make a fire, you need sticks. That's the mushrooms. Uh, oh, there's something on this. Pine sap, okay. Something over here is just a clearing. I probably should have stayed on the road. Where's the road? Where am I? Yeah, the road's over there, okay. Um, southwest. Compass. So... So it's north. So I gotta go that way? Yeah, I'm not good at compasses. I'll just run for a bit and then see which way I'm, which direction I'm heading in. Uh, it looks like the wrong way. Yeah, those red mushrooms do not look good. So I went running around the woods, got a little bit lost, and I am now in danger of hypothermia. Uh, let's just go ahead and look at this. Uh, hypothermia risk, because I am too cold. So let's go ahead and make a fire in here. Uh, fire. There we go. Craft it. Put it down. I don't know if I have enough sticks for it. I've got enough sticks here, though. Uh, use. Go right here. I did get a bunch of uh, stone while I was out, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. Okay, there we go. And we're going to need some uh, tinder. So, spruce bark harvest. Uh, pine sa There we go, tinder. And let's go ahead and light this sucker. And let's get warm. Oof. Pretty rough, man. Oh, uh, wait, what? Did I step on the fire or something? I think I might have stepped on the fire. Well, I'm warm now. <laughs> Stepping on the fire. Alright, let's go ahead and grab... Oh, wait, that's still... 
Uh, use. Can I not pick this up? Oh no, I can't pick that up because the fire was on it. Oh crap. Seriously? Is that there forever? Still go three days on that. I got some spoiled mushrooms and stuff. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I could pick that up. Not gonna lie. Um, burns, yeah, okay. Infection risk, okay. Uh, I'm gonna reload the game because I want to be able to pick up that cooking thing. So let me reload and see if I could do that. So I reloaded the game and I picked up the uh, can. I think I could have picked up the can in the game I was playing though because I, I think the badone was in the can or something. I'm not really sure. I got a little confused there, but I, I did reload the game, picked up the can. I think I lost a lot of firewood though. Uh, because when I came in here, I had a stack of firewood right here, but these two were empty. And I don't know, maybe I didn't put the firewood in before I saved. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I lost some firewood. Not really a huge deal, though, because a lot of this stuff is respawned. So the game's in early access. They got some work to do, no doubt. Um, I did find a cooking pot, so I put a cooking pot right there. We are good on thirst, hunger, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go out and look around and see what I can find. And this time I'm going to try and stay on this little uh, snow path here. And I will probably, you know, let's just throw this out. And I'm going to pick up some stone. And I'm going to make myself a proper spear. Like a stone spear. So, I guess I could just make wooden spears over and over. What does it take for them? What does it take for the wooden spear? Because I think I, I could use it to get my crafting skill up. Uh, oh, well, it's, it's not really that expensive. Uh, let's take a look. Stick, rope, and stone. Yeah. I probably could do that. I'm not going to, though. I might I might eventually at some point. We'll see. If I do do it, it'll be like at night, though. Uh, what am I missing for this? Rope. Oh, you need a stone knife for the stone spear. Interesting. All right. Well, that makes sense. Uh, well, I do have the stone knife, so <clears throat> I probably need the rope. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some rope. There we go. Beautiful. And let's make ourselves a stone spear. Okay. Now, if I find a if I find a wolf, I will try and kill it. I'm not gonna try and kill bears, right? I did see bears, by the way. I'm not gonna try and kill bears or anything crazy like that just yet. Um, but I will look for wolves. Uh, there we go. Pine sap. Oh, sap dressing. Interesting. You know, if I'm gonna be fighting wolves, I should probably make some dressing of some kind. Uh, but I. Don't know exactly how to do that. Uh, fishing, uh, sap dressing, pine sap bandages, bandages is cloth. There we go. Made a couple of those. Sap bandages, cool. Make another bandage. Okay. Oh, I'm getting sanity by crafting. Cool. All right, so I just need some more sap for some more sap bandages. Now it is a, it is a snowstorm out here, so I'm gonna have to stay relatively close to base, but that should be all right. Grab sticks anywhere we can. I wonder if the trees grow. Oh, what the hell is this? Bone knife, deer pelt, no old rusty key. Uh, do I want to go back? I'm gonna go back. I want to. I want to find out what's in that barn. Probably some zombies or something, right? That's what's got to be in the barn. Uh, let me take a look at some of the stuff I got. Uh, yeah, there's my sap dressing. Cool. Uh, there's the deer pelt rope. I bet you get more leather from deer pelts. And I don't know where the note would be. Where would the note be? Um, note from a survivor. You know what? I should probably do this while I'm inside. Let's get back to base, start a fire. You know, cook some stuff, boil some stuff up. I don't know really what, I really don't even know what I would cook. But boil some stuff up. Oh, I wonder if, um, if I could do something with these mushrooms now that I have a bigger pot because I couldn't make the mushrooms in a can because I'm assuming it wasn't big enough so I, I don't really know though and I did get a bone I did get a, a bone knife which is awesome I bet you if I kill um I bet you if I kill wolves and stuff I get bones then I could be all like welcome to the bone zone because you guys love that right all right uh spruce bark harvest and tinder and get this thing get this show on the road all right they would come in here we'll melt some snow 
And then we'll look at that note. Note from a survivor. Although I am in a desperate situation, I find myself at peace. If my final breath will be in the middle of nowhere with the northern lights to uh, see above me, that will be a glorious ending. You weren't really in the middle of nowhere. You're really close to... You know, that's like... I, I, I've, like, been told that that's the way... Like, when people get lost in the woods, usually they're pretty close to, to survival. Like, places where they could live. And they just don't know it. And they die, like, a mile away from, like, a shack or something. Uh, if you find this letter, tell my family and friends that I love them and I think about them. P.S. I buried a supply cache around the farmstead. Oh, doggy. All right, let's see if there's anything we can do with this really quick. Um, I think these are the good mushrooms. Yep, there we go. Mushroom soup, yeah, boy. Hell yeah, let's get my stats. Yeah, I'm doing good. Okay, so this key is not for the barn. At least I don't think so. Oh, it is. Okay. Well, there you go. We got storage. Um... We got a loot cache. I'm gonna I'm gonna go drop everything off before I Yeah, let's go drop stuff off and then we'll loot this place. Alright, we should be good to go to get some loot. I'm just gonna kinda put this bottle in here. Um and oh you can't put the bottle in there? It's cause I got cans in there. Maybe you can't like put different kinds of stuff in there. Alright, let's go ahead and drop the bottle. And let's go out and loot that place, man. Hell yeah. Zombie bar my ass. It's got fat loot in it. Just believe that. Okay. Uh, a book? So, books are just the harvest, right? Just for paper? That's fine, because, you know, I would need that stuff to, um... Canned pork and rice? I would need that stuff to, uh, relight fires anyway. Tinder is very important. Although, it should be a little bit easier to get Tinder, because just with a knife, you can get... Oh, another cooking pot. Just with a knife, you can get Tinder off a, off a tree. No problem. Okay. And got loot ca Oh, whoa! Energy bars, rife, bullet, rife, blah, blah, blah. energy bars, rifle, bullets, um, antibiotics. I don't even know what I got from that. Just, I got a lot of stuff from that. Okay. That means there's a rifle somewhere. Alright. Where's the rifle? Stop holding out of me. I want the damn rifle. Um, hmm. Where'd the rifle be? It should, it should be somewhere in the... Somewhere in the house, right? I must be missing stuff in the house. Alright, let's look around here, see if there's anything else. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. Anything over here? Is where you keep your rifle? No? No rifle? Okay, fair enough. At least stop saying fair enough. I'd appreciate it. I really would, Cage. Uh, is there anything in this vehicle? No, it doesn't seem like we could do anything with the vehicle. What about up here? Hatchet? Sure. I will salvage that. And get this. Get this. Gonna get all this. I think it gives you what's on the table as well. You notice that? It's pretty cool. Alright. Oh, that's a nice looking view right there. Alright, now, what are we looking at on our thirst and hunger? Eh, it's not really that low, but I kind of want to know what I get from this. Let's save the game first. I'm pretty sure these mushrooms are okay, but I'm not that sure. Okay, it's only noon. I'm making good progress here, people. Okay, so let's go ahead and eat this. Or drink it. Alright, hydration, hunger, energy. Oh, that's a, that's a good one right there. That is a freaking good one. Oh. Alright, cool. I'm going to throw stuff on the floor for now because I can always organize like at night. Throw this on the ground. Jeez. I'd prefer not to throw the bullets on the ground if I could avoid it. Let's put this out here. Uh, drag this in here. Let's. Oh, come on. Take them all out, man. 
There we go. Yeah, I'm going to store the ammo in here. There we go. And then, uh, do I want to keep this thing going or let it burn out? I mean, I could use the charcoal, but I'm probably going to let it burn out, I guess. Because now I've got lots of tinder. So, shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's uh, save the game, and then we're going to go out and do some more exploring. I don't know if I should keep keep exploring down that uh, that snow path, or if I should go in a different direction. All right, I went ahead and made some arrows and the bow, and I'm going to make as many more arrows as I can. There we go. All right, cool. Let's not walk into the fire. I should probably put that fire somewhere else. <laughs> I will next time. All right, so let's go ahead and put all our sticks in our stick holder. And I'm going to try and fight something. I don't know what, but something. Got to get this bow. Hell yeah. Got to start working on that bow skill, right? 1.33 p.m. Should have plenty of time to kill something. And the road I'm looking for is northwest. So um, I'm not going to go on the... Uh, oh, this is a whiteout. Shoot. All right, I should be okay to go somewhere anyway. All right, so this means that's west, right? Doesn't red mean, or sorry, this means I'm facing north, right? I'm pretty sure, so I guess this is west. I'm not sure. I don't have a lot of experience with compasses. Let's see how the bow works. Oh. So you just press it once. Now you gotta hold it down. And then aim. It is a little shaky. And does not go exactly where you want it to. Which is fine. You don't want it to be too easy. Alright, how the hell do I get out of this place? This way? And I'll head that way. Coming out here in this blizzard is not a good idea, but, um, you know. You gotta, you gotta work with what you got, right? Grab some stone. Okay. If we just head north, we'd probably be okay. See, is the red north or is the blue north? See, I don't know. Oh, hell, hell, I'll read a compass. Whatever. Let's just go this way. So this is blue. Blue facing north. So let's see if this takes us north or not. Then we'll know. Okay, I figured out red is definitely north. And here's our first try for a kill. Alright. Oh, I don't have any more. Okay. I don't think I want to throw it at him. Go, uh. Stop it. Stop killing me. Okay. That seemed to work out okay. Uh, so let's grab our... I'd like to do it with a knife, please. Not that I, I don't know if it matters if you use a knife or not, but... Well, we got our first wolf kill. Alright. Butchering, wolf pell, raw meat, cool. Uh, unfortunately, though, I think I lost all my arrows. Which sucks. I gotta figure out a better way to get arrows. Um, I don't know, I haven't seen any birds yet. So, could I not get the arrow back out of the wolf, or did I get it back? No, see, I didn't. And I didn't see an opportunity to get, to get the arrow out of the wolf. Maybe I just missed it. Alright, so wolves aren't really the greatest thing to hunt, that's for sure. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't have any afflictions or anything. Alright, all right, rabbit. Uh, where'd he go? There he is. There's an... Oh, there's a dead bird, cool. There's a very, very small amount of arrow drop for a game that has this much realism in it. <laughs> the arrow drop is, like, not very high at all. Okay, there we go. We got some feathers. Beautiful. All right, let's try this, uh, let's try this guy again. Damn it. Fine. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna get him. I wanna get him. Okay, so that looked okay. Yeah, on the height, it was... Okay, so he can't move. Oh, there he goes. I helped you out, buddy. I was just... It's, it's very... You're very shaky, you know? Am I getting skills when I shoot this thing, or do you have to hit the animal? Let me... I, I wasn't paying attention. Let me see if I could figure this out. No, you definitely gotta hit the animal. 
Otherwise, you could just go shoot the side of a wall. <laughs> you know? Although, that's really how you would practice, isn't it? There we go. Archery plus one. It, okay, I get why they're doing it this way. Why you have to hit the animal in order to... Oh, can you not get the arrow back if you hit him? Damn it. I don't think I can. Anyway, I get the idea of having to hit the animal because otherwise you could just shoot the side of a wall to skill up. But, like, realistically, guys, that's the way it would work. I mean, you would set up a... Maybe there should be, like, a targeting dummy you could make in the game or something to practice. And if you hit that, you skill up. Because I'm telling you, you would that's exactly how you would, you know, skill up in, you know, in reality. You would shoot something over and over and over to get better at it. I mean, it kind of makes a lot of sense, don't it? All right. Uh, arrows. What if you get more arrows per combine when you get skill ups and stuff? That would be nice. I don't know if I want to try and take another dog, to be honest. I've got a lot of stuff on me. I'd prefer not to lose if I died, but... I think I'm going to do it anyway. Alright. Alright, doggo. Damn it. Where did those go? I'm not sure what I did wrong there, but... Do they break sometimes, the arrows? Or do you always get them? I think you always get them back. I don't know where the hell they went, though. Alright. Let's do this. Alright. Uh, doesn't seem like I'm hitting him. I'm just gonna circle strafe, see if that helps. Looks like I gotta stop to hit him. But circle strafing does seem to work. But it looks like you gotta stop to hit him. I'm not sure where those arrows went either. Maybe when I'm when I'm you know editing this later on today, I'll see where the arrows went. But yeah, they kind of just I don't know. They didn't really seem to even come close to hitting him, and they kind of disappeared. Okay, well it is what it is. Let's get back to base. All right, I am back at home base, and I am getting really cold. So let's go ahead and make another fire. And I think I'm just gonna make the fire over here, if I can. Because it's kind of out of the way. Yeah. I like it better there because it's out of the way. So let's go ahead and throw those in there. It takes a lot of freaking sticks to do this fire though. Um, papers. Take. I'm going to see if I can use these as tinder. I'm, I'm assuming I can, but... Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, cool. Let's light the fire, get warm. Maybe cook up some meat. I don't know. Let's take a look at what we got uh, in here. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's a big freaking thing of meat. It's only good for a day. I've got an overabundance of food at this point. Um, you know, instead of cooking the meat, why don't we just put it in here? And right now it'll last for a day. And then I'm probably going to cook it just to see what the difference is. Okay, so that's two days. Um, it's still raw, though. Oh, okay. So I guess you salt it and then you cook it. I guess that makes sense. So salt it and cook it. And I don't think you'd have to do it in that order. I think you could salt it after the fact. You should have to salt it before you cook it, though, in order for it to work like that. Okay, and two days. It doesn't say it's salted, but it, it should say it's salted, shouldn't it? Like, it shouldn't say rabbit meat raw. It should say rabbit meat raw salted. All right, let's not burn this. Oh, God, that's going to take forever. Okay. Fair enough. All right, guys, I'm going to cook up all this meat off camera. Probably do some organizing. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I hope you guys are too. If you are, make sure you uncage that like button. And, uh, you know, if you want to see more of this and uh, maybe subscribe to the channel. Because uh, I do do two videos a day of all survival games. Some of the best survival games in the world. And, um, hey, I only play the best. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.